Hey style friend. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Liz Clever here from Closet Point Image. Super excited to be doing another style, restyle, fall style video with you here today. Um, so give me just a second and let's pull up last year's. And in these videos, if you haven't been watching, I take an outfit from last year, I restyle it for this year, and then I also restyle it again or fall style it for the coming season. Uh, so yeah, give me just a sec. I need to pull up last, um, last year's style pick. And so yeah, let's chat a little bit about that style pick from last year. So it was super simple. It was a short sleeve denim jacket, which um, actually it's still hanging right here. If you wanna know more about that jacket and how it's gonna play into my fall wardrobe, then I'll, you know what, and I'll link that fall wardrobe video at the end of this one. It'll just play right on after this one um, because that's a, gonna be a major player in my fall capsule wardrobe this year. So short sleeve denim jacket. Uh, it's a little bit swing shaped, just, it's kind of hard to tell there with the bag in front of it, but it has a little bit of a swing shape. Wearing my classic Levi's 501s, love them. They are my favorite jeans in the world. Um, unfortunately, they don't fit me really well right now, so they're not really part of my wardrobe. <laughs> it's okay, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Otherwise, I'll just buy a new pair in the next size up. Um, and so green suede sandals. Uh, basically very simple. I've got some um, silver bracelets on with a little bit of green in them to kind of reflect the green sandal and that green woven faux leather tote slash purse. Um, so that was last year's look. So how am I going to restyle it for this year? Well, I'm not as out and about much, I'm not, not out and about as much, but if I'm gonna put on this outfit, I'll probably be, and it's also double denim, which makes me very excited. Um, I'll probably be wearing it out, like out with my husband, whatever, out to church. So I don't necessarily want the big bag. Um, I've also let it go from my wardrobe. I have released it into the world for someone else to own. So I need a different bag. So what bag am I gonna grab this year? Well, let's take a look at the outfit this year. So. Here we go. So instead of my Levi's, I have a pair of jeans that I picked up at Old Navy that I can actually wear and that fit. Um, they're slight crop and flare, so they, they're similar to the other jean. The other jean didn't flare, but that's okay. I like that little look here. Um, I grabbed the same earrings, same jacket, same bracelets, everything. The only thing that's different here is the clutch. Um, clutches are big for fall this year. They're not necessarily a flat envelope clutch like this, but I do love the texture and the shine that this one has. Um, but yeah, we're seeing a lot of clutches this year and not even just clutches, but like what we think of as handbags. So bags with hand handles, but then carried as clutches, right? So we're seeing a lot of that. I don't quite know where that comes from, like why, but it has its moments every once in a while. So the do thing I do like about a clutch is that I can always just slip it into a much larger bag. Um, if I'm heading out, you know, with mama and I need a tote with all of her stuff in it, then I can just drop that clutch right in there and I'm, and I'm good to go. So some thoughts about clutches. Love them, hate them. Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious. Um, also double denim. Do you double denim? Yes, no, maybe so. Does that make you comfortable? Does that make you uncomfortable? Do you love it? Do you hate it? So how am I gonna restyle this look for fall? Mm, okay. Um, so some ways to get fall into your wardrobe, if particularly if you don't live in a cold place, one way is to kind of tip into the darker colors. Well, I've already done that here with the double denim, the denim jacket and the denim um, bottom. So I've already done that here. So what are some other ways? Well, we can add kind of fall colors or we can add some fall textures. Now, fall colors, using that term loosely, things like browns, camels, oranges are not my best. Um, but there are other colors that are fall colors. I might need to do a whole video about that just because us cool complexion people, um, a lot of cool complexion people really struggle in the fall because they're like, but none of those colors look good on me. But you have your own fall colors, cool ladies out there. So maybe if you need to, if you want a video about that, let me know in the comments below. We'll talk more about that in another video if that's something you're interested in. So what am I gonna do here? Going to go with the same jeans, same jacket, but instead I'm gonna grab uh, my large olive 
bucket bag and tie on a little leopard scarf because it's probably still a little too warm to wear the scarf, but hey, I'd like the scarf kind of feeling and vibe and that's a huge trend for fall as well. Refer back to, refer back to last week's video. Um, and then in this case, I grabbed my little booties. Now I'm okay, I like the little bit of flash of an ankle between the low booty and the, the flare, little kick flare cut jean. Some people don't. No, it is not a leg lengthening look. I totally understand that. It has nothing to do with leg lengthening, but it's very much my style personality, so I do that. If you don't like that, don't do it, right? It, it, you need to do what works for you. It's all about you and your style personality and how you express that. So, uh, still went with the, hmm, I'm not even sure what earrings I'm wearing there. I'll have to take, see if I can take a closer look. Hang on just a second. Yeah, sorry about that. I had to take a second and, and actually blow the picture up bigger. So what I did was another one of those kind of fall style tips. I grabbed a pair of um, door knocker hoop earrings. They're um, Toledo wear damas, I think it's called damascene in English, damaskino. Um, and I, I love them. They're not great for my coloring, but they feel like fall to me with that little bit of vibe. I also grabbed, I have a scarab bracelet. I threw on some gold jewelry, um, pieces that are sentimental to me that even though they don't work for my coloring, I keep them anyway. I love to add a little bit of gold to my wardrobe in the fall and in the spring just to get that kind of fall vibe. And um, so, yeah. So that's what I did here. Even though it's not my best, I am still wearing it with colors that are good for me overall, the, um, the blues, right? So those are cool blues that I've got going on there. So yeah, that's, I'm really looking, I really want it to cool off enough for me to wear this outfit because I really want to put on those little booties with the jeans and yeah, I want to wear this outfit. Um, right now, how would I wear it? Well, it's still warm. I'd probably go for, the whole outfit minus the booties with a pair of kind of nude tash, oh, sandals, or you know what, I have a pair of leopard, flat little leopard sandals. Oh, that would be super cute too. Ha, flat leopard sandals, there we go. So uh, keep an eye on my Instagram, maybe you'll see me wearing it in the next couple weeks, next week or so. Um, but yeah, how do you feel about your next season style? Are you excited? Have you started to plan what you're gonna wear this season? Do you double denim? I already asked you that. Some people do not. Oh, by the way, yes, in this, I'd like to make a note of this. Uh, you can see, let me pop that back up there. You can see that my denim jacket and my denim jeans are not the same color denim. I am okay with that. Like I said before, it's all about your style personality. If that bugs you, don't worry about it. Then get yourself a pair of jeans and a jacket that are the same color. Just don't wash your jeans as often as you think you would and make sure you wash your jacket with your jeans. Just like when you have a business suit, even if the skirt hasn't been worn as often as the trousers and the jacket or whatever, one piece hasn't been worn as much, you take all of them to the cleaners at once so that they all shift color at the same time and in the same way. Um, another tip for that is if you have pieces that are different colors and you want them to be more similar, you can refresh that denim, like if you want them to be darker, maybe something's gotten really faded, you can wash them together with a packet of you know, dye. There are denim dye colors. There's actually denim, like indigo. It'll say indigo rather than like navy blue. Navy blue isn't going to give you that. It's going to give you an over dye effect. But if you want to refresh your faded denims, I do this with black clothing. I used to do, when I wore lots of black, used to do it with black clothing all the time. I mean, we would refresh our blacks like every six months, three to six months um, with a package of black dye. You can do the same thing with your denims. So if you have, for example, a pair of jeans that aren't quite the same color as the jacket, well, give them a refresh. Give the jeans a refresh and see if they get closer to the color of that jacket. And then if you want, you know, you can change the color. You can change the color of your denims using denim dye. Um, so just some thoughts there. Uh, stay safe and sound safe and stylish. And I can't wait to hear from you. 
let me know what you're thinking about the fall. Um, thanks for spending a couple minutes with me because your time is precious and I know you spend with me as a gift. And remember, stay tuned for that next video, or I should say the last video about fall style. <sighs> Bye.